Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Yorkan Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today's Sunday, September 24th, 2023, and here are the readings for today. Today's epistle reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 3, verses 10 through 15. Timothy, my son, you have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, my sufferings, which befell me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. Yet from them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, while evil men and impostors will go on from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 5 verses 1 through 11. Let us be attentive. At that time, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land, and he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had ceased speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great shoal of fish, and as their nets were breaking, they beckoned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both of the nets, so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all who were with him at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. Henceforth you will be catching men. And when they brought their nets to the land, they let everything and followed him. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So the lexicon or lectionary of the Orthodox Church goes in this manner. At the beginning of Pascha, we read the Gospel of St. John. And St. John's Gospel, since it is so heavily influenced by the glorious resurrection of our Lord, is read in church from that day of Pascha all the way through Pentecost. And then once we get to Pentecost, we transition from the Gospel of St. John to the Gospel of St. Matthew. And from St. Matthew, we go from that point of Pentecost all the way through till the elevation of the Holy Cross. Now, there is a reading that is done the Sunday before the celebration of the Holy Cross. There is a reading that is done after the celebration of the Holy Cross. And then from there, which is September 14th, by the way, from there, we begin by reading the Gospel of St. Luke. And so this Sunday, being the first Sunday after the concluding reading of the Elevation of the Cross, it then begins the Gospel of St. Luke. And notice it starts with chapter 5, because that's really when our Lord's ministry begins. Before that, we have the story of Zacharias, Elizabeth, and John, the forerunner. We have the story of Mary, have the Annunciation, we have the lineage of our Lord. So there are all sorts of things that come before that as a preparation. But now, in Luke 5, we have the beginnings of our Lord's earthly ministry. And we find ourselves with Jesus standing at the boats of Andrew and Peter on one, although Andrew's name isn't mentioned, and on the other, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Jesus requests that the boat be put out so that he can teach the people who are on the shore. And then he asks if they would go out into the deep for a catch. 
Now, because Peter is in the boat at the same time that our Lord is while he's teaching, he gets a clear understanding of just what kind of person it is who's there. A very wise person. A rabbi, even. One who is capable of teaching people, of speaking great things and illuminating things about God and about themselves. And so while he's there, he's thinking, well, he's got his job and I've got mine. He trusts me because I'm a boater and I know what I'm doing. So then when Jesus asks to go deeper into the sea and catch fish, Peter begins to scoff within himself. He says, we've already been at this and we didn't have a good day. And if you didn't have a good day, you're not going to have a good day. He says, but at your word, I'll go ahead and do it. Because he recognizes again that Jesus is a special person, a good teacher. And so he does. He lets out his nets. And lo and behold, there are so many fish that it almost causes the boat to sink. He calls out for John and James to come and help him. And their boat starts to sink. And Peter then truly realizes just who it is that he's dealing with. And he immediately falls on his knees. Because he knows this person isn't just the master of fine words. But he's also the master of creation. If someone who speaks like he does has the ability to catch fish with such utter simplicity, he has to be a special person. Because it takes a special person to be able to be a fisherman. You have to be seasoned. You have to be an expert. Because you have to know the ways of the fish. You have to know when they're going to come closer to the top of the water and when they prefer to dwell at the bottom, when they prefer to be closer to shore or further away. All these things are what fishermen have to learn. And our Lord, just by speaking, saying, go out into the deep, they go out into the deep and lo and behold, they catch fish. And of course, there is that metaphor as well. It's one thing to hear the message of our Lord superficially to hear it and then go away to your normally scheduled workload but jesus is calling him to go into the deep to learn the deeper mysteries of the faith to hear what jesus has to say not just in the hearing of some casual listener but to spend time with him and learn his ways and learn the depths of theology and the goodness of our god and ultimately learn that jesus being both God and man, comes to earth to die, to be sacrificed on the cross, to rise from the dead, and to bring to life all humanity. That is the depth of mystery that Peter is invited to be a participant in. And of course, that is also open not just to James and John and to the rest of the twelve disciples, but it is also open to us. It is open to us that we too can plumb the greater depths of the mysteries of our Lord. But we have to be willing to hear more than just the casual freelance kinds of speaking that our Lord would have said on the shore and then departed as those people go off to their homes. So we need to have ears to hear. We need to recognize that in order to follow after Christ, we have to put on Christ and have to be willing to on his cross as well as hear his words and when we do these things indeed the deeper more impenetrable mysteries will become clearer to us we will indeed see god face to face and we will glory in his glory it all started with this call of these fishermen to become fishers of men well, I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the section below and I'll be happy to address them as soon as I can. And also feel free to share this with your friends. And I pray that God will bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you very much for joining me today and I pray you have a great day and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.